What is up everybody? I just got back from a little uh, west side excursion over there at Dolphin Island. Um, tell you it's been a while since I've fished over that way, but had some trips coming up over there. I needed to do a little pre-fishing, find a few fish, and uh, found a few fish. Found, found quite a few fish, but not going to spoil that too big. Y'all are going to have to hang in there, watch everything, see uh, see how it goes, but it was a great day. Uh, but if you guys are interested in a guy at Kite, or <laughs> if you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, guided surf fishing trip, like I've mentioned here in a couple months, uh, guided boat fishing trip, or renting a Hobie kayak, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com or check out the Fishing Chaos app. That is a great way to see everything, prices, availability, everything, the Fishing Chaos app. Definitely a good thing to check out, so y'all check it out. Uh, but I'm not going to really hang around. I'm very tired. I got a lot of sun today. I need to take a shower, so... I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this video. Appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, stick with it. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I am out here on the water. I made a little bit of a drive today. Fished an area I have not fished in quite some time. Uh, it's been, been a long time since I fished over here actually, but got a trip coming up Friday. Um, guy staying, you know, coming down here for vacation and he's wanting to come out, catch a few fish, not have to drive all the way to the, the east side of the bay. So told him that wouldn't be a problem. So I'm over here pre-fishing and hopefully I can find a few fish. Uh, one thing I kind of knew was going to be a problem, and I was hoping I'd get lucky, but it might get better throughout the day, is it is dirty. I mean, the water is just chocolate milk. Uh, gonna have to throw a lot of, a lot of loud baits, a lot of flashy baits. Hopefully there'll be a few fish. Man, the water is so, so dirty over here. I forget how much cleaner it is on the east side compared to this west side. Alright, <clears throat> got my popping cork rig now. I'm just running a regular old Walmart special popping cork. Probably about 18 inches, 18, 20 inches a liter. And that good old voodoo shrimp absolutely coated in broke here. Turn my oh and he came off. Just got slammed. Taking my freaking hat off for a second. Didn't have any cameras rolling, of course. I'm gonna have to pull off this point a little bit. Fish of the morning. Little slot there. Dark, dark color. He's hanging deep. Let's see if he makes the slot. I'm trying to be quiet, making a lot of noise. Oh yeah, 17 and a quarter. He's going on ice. Nice. This place is very similar to Louisiana. As far as depth and mud, water clarity. It kinda, kinda helps out. 
helps me know what to look for and everything. It's always nice when you can have somewhat of a clue going into a new area. Well, not new, but it's probably been, I don't know, 15 years at least since I've fished over this way. Or this area in particular. Dang, I think I just had one grab it while I was looking away. This one feels a little bigger than that last one. Oh no, he's really not. <laughs> Said a lot of spunk to him. <clears throat> Fish numero dos for the morning. We're on kind of the same point. I was hitting it on the way out. He, he was there, so I'm gonna let this guy go. Calm himself. Calm himself. All right, but popping cork is definitely the way to go this morning. Well, it was getting pretty windy, so I set my camera down for for a few minutes um, and wound up catching two back to back. So I got my second of three in my cooler. The other one was just a little a little ratatouille. Um, good sign right here at the mouth of this little, little feed of creek coming into the bay here. See if I can't catch any more. It's kind of been the theme, though. Still, still on the popping cork. Uh, but finding these these feeders like this, just kind of fishing the mouth of them like the other ones. We're sitting right around the the mouth of a feeder in a feeder. Those two were sitting at the mouth of this feeder. Yeah. Tide still feels like it's trying to pull out a little bit. The tide was supposed to be about 30 minutes ago. But the tide does still feel like it's coming out just a little bit. Which is keeping these fish stacked up right in here, I believe. I imagine once that tide really starts pulling in, it's gonna push this fish to the backs of these. But I'm not complaining, I've caught four fish today happy with that. It's always nice to dissect a spot you haven't been to in a while. Get after some fish. None of them have been huge. I think the biggest one was that the first one was <clears throat> about 17. The second one was it was about 16 and a half, 6, 17, um, but fat, a lot fatter than the other two have been. That's a little better than there.
finally getting some bigger fish there. That's what we're talking about. Feel them croaking. It's a good old male there. Just unlucky for this guy. It's his unlucky day. That fish is going in the cooler. Good old chunkster. Nice. There we go. That's my limit too. That's number three. <laughs> I'll keep fishing, but not playing for keeps anymore. As you can tell, it turned out to be a, uh, be a pretty good morning slash day slash went for a while. Um, caught a lot of fish. Caught a lot of fish that I didn't have on camera. Didn't necessarily, you know, I, you could tell from the video the wind was, was there we go. The wind was awful. To, um, I mean, it headed back in. You see, it was, it was probably blowing 20 miles an hour. Headed straight into it. So I got soaked, but... Didn't, didn't film several of the fish because the wind was blowing too bad. You wouldn't have been able to hear anything. But I ended up catching quite a few more redfish and a couple more trout on my way out. So turned out to be a jamming day. But it was good to get back on the west side, get after a few fish. Uh, like I said, it's been been a little while since I've fished that particular area, but it is productive. But if you guys are staying on Dolphin Island this year, uh, anywhere in Mobile, and you're interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, uh, shoot me an email. You know, like I said, I... I cover all, all sides of Mobile Bay. I spend a lot of my time on the eastern shore here. Cover every bit of it. So if you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip, like I mentioned earlier, shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com. Check out the Fishing Chaos app, or you can, uh, you can try to get at me on Facebook, Instagram. I got, I got everything. Got a lot of ways to get after me. So if you guys are interested in one of those, go ahead and shoot me a message. I think that's about going to do it for today. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, it was, it was a fun day. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you've stayed this long, an extra thank you. Thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. It helps a ton. But I got uh, got something else coming coming here in the next probably about the week. Went and, went and, toured, a, went and toured a new shop. Went, got to see some new kayaks. Got to see some sweet boats. So y'all be on the lookout for that. That should be up in the next few days. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for me. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop me a like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And uh, stay stay alert for the next next few videos. Trying to pump out as many of them as I can here soon. But I'm going to go ahead and hop out of here. I'm going to quit blabbering on. Uh, but like I said, appreciate you guys watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye.